Security Access Manager. Once we'll be going ahead and we'll be creating the objects, I will showcase you that there are two types of objects we go ahead and create. One is private and the other one is secure. What do you mean by private? Private means only the person who is creating can utilize it. So I have zero idea why Informatica is still allowing it because earlier these private resources were being created only in the UI side so that the user who's creating is creating for himself. But if we create an hub console, if a developer is creating any configuration, if it is not permutable, which means if it is not able to move from one environment to another environment, non-migratable thing, plus any other user is not able to access it, then there, there is no utilization for that particular private resource. So let's say you have created something, okay? And that cannot be utilized. Only you can go ahead and utilize it. So is there a point that you are being the developer and they are being the user that you go ahead and create any configuration accordingly. So that is something I have no idea why Informatica is still utilizing the private resource part. It's something like so, it is there and we are still having that kind of thing. So those were utilized earlier, but right now users can utilize their own uh, thing in 10.4, like the bulk import, which they want to go ahead and use. So they can create the mappings over there in the E360 itself. Okay. And it will be according to user. If we are creating it, we can go ahead and create it by utilizing the public side. Okay, then second objects are the queries, which was, which is still being utilized from E360 and queries can be private or public, which means if I want my query to be visible to all the users, I can go ahead and create that query and the entire people can utilize it. And if I will be doing a private, that is fine because that particular query, I am the only one who is utilizing it. Okay. So over here we can see all those objects which are private and which are secure. But whereas secure resources, secure resources are somewhat same, but a little bit in a different way according to how they are being utilized. So basically what happens is that any object which has been created as secure, only person who can view that is the person who has given or the permissions are being given to that particular user for that resource. But at the end of the day, that is migratable and it's public as well because if multiple users are being given access by the rule, they'll directly get the access, right? So that is how it is stated as secure resources, okay? Roles are something which we create over here. There are two ways to give permissions. We'll go ahead and see how we'll be going ahead and giving the permissions.
okay users and group is the section where we assign the users to a specific role and the group is basically the ldap group or the active directory group which are being enabled for the organization when it is been utilized okay so groups are created in the exact same naming conventions users which are been assigned to this particular database will be listed down over here if i have to assign the user to a particular group all the roles will be showcased over here i can right click over here first is okay all the groups are there i just go ahead edit and i can go ahead and assign the user to this particular role okay if i want to see the users according to which particular roles are being assigned to that particular user and go ahead and see over here that is something which we will be doing in your ors which is sample ors okay the cmx only the trainers are utilizing hence we are not creating multiple users over here so we'll go ahead and see in your own data ors which is sample ors and we'll see how these are useful those roles are useful in various areas like what all permissions is fine but when we create the ui screen and we want to go ahead and showcase okay for this particular role we want a different layout to be displayed we can go ahead and create according to roles as well so when the business data director or provisioning tool idd e360 these are not there with informatica they have enabled a functionality for data steward to work directly from hub console as well so all these are utilized so data manager is utilized for manipulation of data merge manager is utilized to manual merge the records hierarchy manager is used to manipulate the hierarchy which we have created so all these things actually go ahead and utilize packages so if i showcase it will only showcase me the base objects which are having any queries or queries and packages which is being enabled over there so we can just go ahead and say begin administration so this one will be there always if you want to have a where clause we can add a parameter we can so we'll see all the data which is there so there are three data which we have created from over here itself which is this so we have a base object we have cross reference and we have the two different data according to the cells as well like it is over here in tabular format it is in row way for this particular record what is the data which is in base object which is there in cross reference okay hierarchy manager will manipulate hierarchy if we have any data over there we can go ahead and create the data but for that also we need queries and packages to be added up 